Welcome back, citizens, and thank you for watching. We'd like to thank all of our patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoy our content, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button to help the channel grow. Today, we'll be multi-crew mining in this, the Argo Mole. I will discuss laser and module choices, and you will see how effective multi-crew mining can be. And that episode starts right now. All right, this is the Argo Mole, or multi-operator laser extractor, and we'll be mining in this today. If you want a full review, make sure you check out the one by Fist25. He did an outstanding job at reviewing this ship. Okay, on the this side here, this is a port laser turret, the size two laser, and you can see the operator compartment right there. Go ahead and head up towards the front of the ship here. Okay, we're in the front. Um, this is actually the center laser turret, also a size two, and has its operator compartment right there. All right over here is the starboard laser turret, another size two laser, and the operator compartment. Uh, let's go ahead and get on inside, and I'll go over uh, my laser and module choices. A little tricky to get inside, but what you do is basically walk to that little circle there, and I'll look up a little and click and down comes your elevator all right you can see if you have one choice use laser or use elevator sorry um now we'll go ahead and pop in And we'll head on over to this side. This is the starboard side. And you have the starboard uh, uh, command seat here. So I'll go ahead and pop you outside so you can kind of see. See it kind of drops out. And then you'll see the command module slide out. Not the command module, but the operator compartment. All right. Now let's go ahead and pop back inside. And what I usually use on this is a Landsat size two. Um, I feel it's a very stable laser and uh, really easy to mine with instead of jumping all over the place. Um, the modules I use are Surge, which adds a little extra oomph for those uh, tough crack rocks. Um, a Stampede, which uh, fills up your charge window uh, quicker, but watch out. Um, because if you were in overcharge, it will fill that overcharge window real quick and um, bad things happen. And then I have an optimum uh, module on here and I use that basically because for Quantanium, sometimes that uh, optimum window is so small that if you add, put that optimum module in there, it opens it up, makes it a little easier to mine. We'll go ahead and pop on out here. And we're going to go uh, just kind of out. You can see you got a little shower in here and everything. Uh, again, check out the reviews by Fist25. He takes you all throughout the ship. Right. Go over to this side over here. Um, and up this, you, this is your port laser turret. We'll go ahead and pop in here. And we'll go ahead and pop outside. And you can see it uh, drop down away from the ship and uh, their little operator compartment slides out. All right. Oh, yeah, my ship's going nuts there a little bit. All right. So um, go back ahead inside. And I also have the Lancet uh, size 2 um, surge and speed and optimum uh, modules. Um, I have those in both the port and starboard laser turret. So let's go ahead and get out of our seat here. Right. 
So we'll go ahead and head down. Again, you got a little shower here. So, and head on in. Now, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but when we were going over to this side, there was a ladder. This is the ladder that you climb to get up to the next level. You got a door here, and it goes out to a little dining area, a little kitchenette. Uh, and then you got your sleeping quarters, got some more showers, and um, then you got your bathroom down here. So, uh, check out the review by Fist25 yeah, on that. All right. So, uh, if you head on up here, uh, you'll see kind of a hole down here. This takes us to the center turret. There's the center turret there. I know some of you guys have been probably saying, well, what do you mean the Lancet? I use a Helix, you know? Um, well, um, that's, that's what I use here in the center turret. I use a Helix and uh, the Filter XL, FLTR XL. Uh, what those do is um, they get some of the waste out and so you're not just picking up the inert stuff um it filters out that um the stuff that you can't sell or can't do anything with and by 20 percent for the xl and so if you have two of them in here it's filtering out 40 percent of it so you're putting in the ore that you really want and the ore that'll make you money all right and so i have that in slots one and two uh, sometimes I put it in three, sometimes in three I put another optimum, uh, but the Helix is a very powerful laser. Now, the center turret, I usually have the most experienced miner in here, the most experienced um, laser operator in here, and because the Helix can get out of hand on you. And, but another thing that's nice, and you'll see it here in a little bit, this center turret can help the port and starboard turrets as well on cracking their rocks. So adding that extra power of the helix, um, that really, really makes uh, mining a lot easier. Let's go ahead and pop out of here. All right, head on up these steps here oh and it fell down there i don't know what happened there but all right anyway that's a little bit of climb up and out and uh you go ahead and come on over here to uh the command center and get your pilot pilot co-pilot here um so we'll go ahead and get the pilot seat all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire everything up here and um, we are going to uh, I'm going to go up to the station and pick up the rest of the crew and we will um, meet you in an asteroid field to do some mining and we will see you in a little bit All right. and so I'm going to kind of cruise up on them and uh, my team in the turrets are going to let me know when I'm in range so they can work so all three turrets can work on all of the rock all right guys how's it going good on hit all of them okay well checking port okay DC can see them all uh Roseman uh affirmative port side okay good and perfect Professor? Oh, well, <clears throat> I'm on my way into the stall. Okay. Boat. All right. Not good. All right. Uh, who's in the center turret? Is that you, DC? No, it's just Roseman. Oh, Roseman? Roseman's in the center turret? Okay. Yeah, I'm good on both rocks. Okay. Yeah, I'm good on both rocks. Okay. All right. And um, so we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and put us um, in park and station and go for it. There's one laser, there's two. 
There's three lasers. Okay. So they're teaming up on this one rock here because it is rather large. And um, basically two lasers will um, keep a constant low power on it. And then one person will, uh, they're the one that kind of adjusts the power on it. So um, we'll jump down there in one of the seats and I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So there they are working together on rock right there. In the green. Right. It's best to have comms with this using Discord or whatever so the team can communicate. Because sometimes it, tar it charges real quick. Oh, hopefully, I'm not stepping on them with that right now. Because my oh, job right good. now is um, to move the ship. Um, I do not mind from. Oh no. Okay, there they go. All right, pop. Weasel. All right. So now we're gonna um, start busting up these rocks and start bringing them in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you down into each one of the turrets. We'll start with the center, because it's right behind the pilot seat. And then I will show you the other ones as well. So let's go ahead and get up. Okay, here we are in the center turret. As you notice, I have a helix on this and all of the filters so let's go ahead and fire it up and it is scanning right now Maybe not sometimes it's a little glitchy on you there it goes and yeah you got a lot of cords here and some barrel so i'm going to go ahead and creep it up uh helix is a really powerful laser so um, but it does kind of jump around quite a bit. So you'll notice right there, I'm going ahead and picking a, uh, filling up the green and I'm just feathering the controls left and right there. So, right? Yeah. And there goes that one and pop. Okay. So I'm going to switch to extraction mode and show you that from this laser what we got here see what the rock is kind of floating away a little on it uh a little bit of cord we got here and yeah, got a little bit better so i don't mind with this laser i don't mind picking up this stuff because i do have the filters in here and i won't pick up the so let's see what we got here and yeah i got a bunch of cords here so we'll go ahead and pick this up Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop out of this tur turret and um, go ahead and pop in another turret. So, I'll see you there. All right, here we are in the port side uh, turret. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try and bust up some more rocks here. Get some more quantanium rocks here. So, we will Go ahead and get on this one. It looks like I'm getting a little bit of help. I am because you can see that optimum window jump open. So um, whoever's on this rock with me, um, just gonna maintain right about here. We wanna control the throttle. And, and here we go. I'm going to get this going here. Um, I'm at zero, so I'm not controlling anything. Oh, you're not? Okay. Nope. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you, Investor. I am. But thank you for the stabilization there. Yeah. Yeah. I am bumping around a little bit. Montanium can be a little bit bumpy. But here we are. And we're about ready to pop the rock here. And there it goes. Cool. Great teamwork. Thanks, Professor. You're welcome. All right. Pleasure's so, mine. That is the way you mine in a mole. Yes, you can mine by yourself, but team mining is so much easier. So I'm going to pop out of here and head over to the starboard turret. All right. Here we are on the starboard turret. And I'm going to try and 
sta help him stabilize that rock a little bit. I'm going with no power at all. I have no power. Perfect. So, yeah, I'm letting him drive. I'm just putting a little bit of power. Did that help you out? Yeah. It opened up that window. Yeah. I already popped that rock right there. So, um, what I did there, he was with the Helix, and um, his optimal window wasn't all that big. So what I did is I went and put my laser on there that has a much more stable beam that helps stabilize it. So, and, yeah. So, let's go over here and get like something. I do not want to collect any quantity right now. Uh, we want to get all the quantity that we can. Yeah, we got well, one as well. And or is, yeah, okay, so we'll go ahead and select this one, switch over to direction mode. Alright. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and collect all these rocks. We got some quantanium, so we need to boogie as soon as we do it. All right, I'm headed back up to the uh, command module. And we will um, get this mined and I'll do some views from outside. Yeah, well, they're mining. I am going to go ahead and dial in for her L1. That's my uh, headquarters. And I'll set a route for that. So now when they say they're full, I can just turn tail and head for station real quick.
That was cargo's full. Cargo's full? Cargo's full, Captain. Captain Row 1's dialed in. All right. So, and away we go. I'll see you when we get to the station. All right, we just got our first warning here. I have been coming in here kind of slow, but I think we got about eight to 10 minutes. So um, I, I am sure that uh, we're going to get a problem. Here, down. Go ahead and put it down here. We're down. Right. Run over here and go ahead and store my ship. And hey, everything's safe now. Um, actually, while we were out there, kind of a funny thing happened. Um, Bloomer, I don't know, fell out or something. Um, so, uh, the rest of us are going to head back out there and get a little more. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, uh, about crew mining in the mole. And, uh, give it a shot. Um, get a few other people, uh, get aboard a mole and you can make lots of money. All right. See you in the verse and happy mining.